In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to customize the pop-up title. All right, so uh, I've got a map that we've created. Uh, it doesn't contain a whole lot of information. It has a, a layer for land parcels and then uh, also um, a reference base map layer. What I'm going to do to initiate the process is right-click on the land parcels layer and select configure pop-ups. That will display the configure pop-ups pane. And um, what we want to do here for this uh, particular demonstration is to show you how to customize the title. Now if you look uh, at this particular element, the title element, this is what is used to display the title for a custom uh, pop-up window. And by title, um, what we mean is when you, when you do an identify operation on a feature, uh, of course you have your tree or your detail area at the top and uh, uh, the, the specific content uh, at the bottom. This section uh, at the very top of the content area is the title section. So you see where it's pulling owner name here and owner name is going to be um, is going to be inside these curly braces indicating that that uh, title is being pulled from uh, the owner name field that's attached to this feature class. So this is the title section of your, your custom pop-up uh, window in this case where it says Mitchell comma Jason right that's the owner name information being pulled now if I select a different feature you'll see how that changes right <clears throat> that's just indicating that information is coming from right now the owner name field now if you click on the uh, the element for the title that will display the title options pane and you can see that right now it's currently set to owner name the curly braces simply indicate that that uh, owner name is a, uh, a field uh, of information coming from, in this case, the land parcel layer. Uh, now you can make changes to this uh, and you can add a combination of both static text and dynamic text. So for example, if I wanted to add some static text to this, I could simply type in my static text and now I have a combination of static text. This is the static text part and then also some dynamic text. All right, now, <clears throat> RGS Pro will automatically save your changes for you as soon as you click this back arrow button. And you'll see that the change has been made uh, to the, uh, the title element. And now when I do an identify on a feature, you'll see that it has uh, the static text, the owner name, colon, and then the dynamic piece of this is being pulled from the owner name field. Now if you want to change this a little bit, it's very easy to select the field. Right, you just go to the field drop down list, make a change. So maybe I want to display legal description instead of the owner name. I can do that. Click back, select a feature, and then you see now we're getting the legal description. So for title, uh, title can always be static text or dynamic text or some combination of static text and dynamic text. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me.